All right, hello, wine drinking people. We're back. It's Wednesday, July 7th. Now for what I drank yesterday. But first, what I drank yesterday. What I drank yesterday section of the show, and that's what we're doing right now. What I drank yesterday. Now time for what I drank yesterday. It is time for the what I drank yesterday portion of the show. All right. Well, yesterday, um, we had kind of a quiet day in the store. You know, I think I told most of the suppliers that have called me over the last few days that I'm leaving town on Saturday morning. So a lot of them have decided to just leave me alone this week, I guess, so I can get ready to get the heck out of Dodge. But we did have one supplier stop in, and that was our good friend David Cole. And he brought by uh, this one little gem here, the Comte de Bailac from St. Julien, uh, 2004 vintage. Which this vintage is really starting to drink really is starting to drink really nice, uh, smoothing out around the edges. Not a great vintage. A vintage is definitely built for younger consumption. But to a lot of these wines, the suppliers like Dave are starting to deal on now. This wine was uh, in the thirty dollar plus retail range. Now it's down to twenty two dollars and fifty cents. A really nice little value in a drinkable. Uh, Bordeaux. So lots of great stuff in Bordeaux and still uh, quite a few things left from the 2009 Bordeaux futures offering. Uh, we'll be sending out an update on everything that we've purchased and everything we still have available in a week or so. Uh, you can check that out in the previous offer section of our website also. All right, well yesterday was um, mine and Tony's anniversary and it was also her birthday and uh, I believe in consolidation of dates that's why we got married on her birthday. One less thing you got to remember, if I forget her birthday and our anniversary, I'm in deep trouble because they're on the same day. All right, and I always like to celebrate with something either from our birth year, we were both born in the same year, 1969, or our wedding year on her anniversary, which was 1998. It's a lot easier to find stuff still from 1998. And uh, we're going to this new restaurant, well, new for us, uh, Cafe Shiraku, which is located on Federal Highway kind of right in between Oakland and um, Sunrise. And I've had a lot of my friends talk about this place for the last several months, so I wanted to check it out. And uh, champagne, let me tell you, is the perfect beverage of choice. Uh, for the cuisine at Chiraku, um, it's uh, kind of a Japanese, a nouveau kind of mixture of cuisine. And uh, the food was outstanding. And the 1998 Piper from our anniversary year was also very nice, lovely hazelnut kind of walnut uh, nuttiness to it, light smoky uh, character to the wine. I like vintage champagnes. They tend to be a little bigger, maybe not quite as effervescent. The bubbles kind of mellow out a little bit as they get older, but still had this lovely creamy mousse on the tongue and still wonderful freshness. Contrary to popular belief, while most of the people in Champagne will tell you their wines are ready to drink on release, you can't age Champagne. The English love old Champagne, late release Champagnes, wines that have been kept on the lees for a long time. This isn't a late release, it's just a vintage offering that's a few years old. It's been stored here at the Wine Watch in our cellars and uh, drinking very nice. And thanks to the warden, we had the 1999 Perrier Jouet flower bottle of Belle Epoque. This is the wine that we plugged in yesterday's email and with or without the glasses this wine is a stellar deal and the gift set it's drinking beautiful I think even nicer than the O2 that I had on July 4th this wine has this lovely creaminess and elegance to the palate this like vanilla cream note to the nose uh, lemon citrus uh, really really drinking at or near its peak right now 99 not near as good of a vintage as 02 but uh, when you look at vintages from great producers and great wines like this Belle Epoque one of the best wines made in Champagne you can't necessarily look at the vintage and say oh the wine's not gonna be good you use the vintage as a guide as to when to drink the wine and a great vintage you may want to keep a little longer or sell a little longer a vintage like 99 almost drinking perfect at the moment right now so really nice stuff there with that PJ Belle Epoque that's what I drank last night. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasone, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.